Bishop Kokal received good news from Pope days after he was criticized over Christmas message. You know, they say um, a man's true worth is not really recognized and celebrated by those of his household. They always trivialize it and say, is it not, is it not this one that I know? Is it not, uh, is it not this uh, Jesus, the son of the carpenter? You know, they'll trivialize it and want to downplay it. But such people, honestly speaking, have low self-esteem. They don't, they don't, they don't, if you don't celebrate people, don't expect yourself to move forward. It is good when you are happy, when people are doing well. Then you go on and pray, not from a place of envy, not from a place of, you know, that bitterness and whatever you know. But you are going there with a place of sincerity, appreciating God for what has done for that person and you desire more. There is nothing wrong in coverting good things. Not from, my, like I said, a place of, of envy. Why Bishop Koka is being criticized by uh, uh, some of our members of our community religion in, in Nigeria. Other people are commending it, saying he's speaking the truth. Let's understand all that is going on. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. According to a news that was posted by Punch newspaper this morning, it has been a it has been received that the Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Bishop Matthew Hassan Koka, has been given special recognition by Pope Francis days after he was criticized by two Muslims group over the Christmas Day message he gave consigning President Muhammad Buhari, where he said that if Buhari was not a Muslim, and with the nepotism being done in his administration, a coup would have been planned to overthrow whoever was in power and to take over in this take over the country, if not that President Muhammad Buhari is from the north, and also said that the president is practicing nepotism. However, according to that point, what Punch said this morning, it has made known that Bishop Matthew Hoka had been given special appointment by Pope Francis as a member of the diocese for the promotion of human integrity and human development. A true letter to reflect that he is a man of the people who want betterment for all, not for a minority, not for a certain class or group of people. The letter which was signed by the reference and the preference of the diocese, Peter Kadia, Taco needs to reads thus by this appointment from Pro Francis Bishop Matthew Coca will join other members of the diocese drawn from other parts of the world to advise and promote Pope France to advise and promote good governance. Pro Francis on the issue of justice and peace, human rights, tolerant, human tolerant, and to speak against human trafficking, torture, and creation of falsehood, among which most African nations and other nations strive today. Promotion of human dignity and development. In a letter, it was all in the letter it was also made known that the appointment is for a period of five years and is renewable thereafter. So like we were saying at the beginning of this um, news that why some people yes are trying to downplay what you know somebody speaking the truth as a matter of fact right in the north a lot has gone on oh you know no it's it's clear that uh right from the north instead of them looking at what is going on do you know how many women and children life has been destroyed tarnished only God will ever give them that position to be able to be strong again and pick up themselves from what exactly the trauma that, that, that this has brought upon them. And guess what? None of this group has spoken. Not a single one of this group has said a single word. Not a single one of this group has said a single word to elevate the suffering, assist, and help the people. None of this group has wrote into President Muhammad Buhari to say, why is the insecurity like this? Give a clear statement 
other Fulani headsmen to go to a particular settlement. All this money we are spending on insurgency, this, that, that, that. Can we use it to develop an area? Listen, guys, please, I would like you to investigate on Dubai. Dubai that most Nigerians go to today for holiday, for commerce, for, I mean, trade and what have you. Please go and check Dubai's incident. Dubai, once upon a time, was a dry ground, nothing particular. But they had visionary leaders who checked, investigated, and thought about it and said, what can we do so that we don't become beggar or beggary that we can do to bring people here? And they had a plan. They had a mission statement for a particular period of time. And they began to invest in themselves. You will see the pictures and please read about it. Develop your mind. Give yourself, see, broaden your horizon. There is more to life than just that cocoon you are. Get into the internet. Put something out there. If you, whatever you are good at, start at it and pray for God's favor to come on it. You know? So, why people are suffering Instead of these people to begin to position themselves like Martin Luther King to say enough is enough of what is going on. I have a dream that the North will become a safe place. Nigeria will become a safe place. What are they doing? Carrying out a microscope, looking out for every and anyone who is speaking against Buhari. What a sad reality of a state of mind. No vision, no life, no honesty, no truth. No quest for true human life. No help. It shows you that people can be very devilish. And all they are after is just themselves. And all they are after is just themselves. This is a sad case of reality of what is happening in, on, in Nigeria. And we all have to have a thorough mind, a, a shift from what it currently is. Some mindset has been, has been brutalized by ideologies, by, by, you know, experience and what have you. But there is a bigger picture. There is more to life than that mega, mediotic position. You know? See, this man has been celebrated, given an appointment for five years. Why others who are going through the same struggle and suffering are looking for how to eliminate him. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.